Here's a guy who's got a mouth like a snare and a voice like a cat trapped in one. It's Shane McGowan and the Porgs. <laughs> See, what if I was a dog right now? I'd be chewing a slipper. And an email from Barbara in Dis. When I'm sitting in the bath, people outside can see my head through the window. But when I stand, they could see my fanny. So I have a choice between drawing the curtain or crawling to the bath. <laughs> OK, that was Funky Gibbon by the goodies. To show that we are not averse to a little bit of anarchy. Yes, I'd like a compact excavator with a rotating platform and a knuckle boom. Yes, for the whole weekend. 360, please. Nope, just the tilting bucket. Well, that's okay, I won't require the driver. I'll be operating it. I know. I know. No, I I I want to drive the digger. I, yeah, I know, I'm aware I'm aware of that. I'm just I don't well I I know. I, I I'm I'm going to be spending this weekend driving a digger. The, the real reason people have a go at Bernie Eccleston is because he has the first name of a dinner lady and he goes out with giant women. What about the fact that he cozies up to dictators and torturers? He's not a torturer. No, he does business with torturers. Precisely. I mean, he's so small he could barely pick up a cattle prod. Uh, you know, he wears kids' clothing. Watch out for him next time there's a wet Grand Prix. His wellies have got Spider-Man on. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's, uh, it's Italian. Actually, I bought it in uh, Capri. Yeah, guess how much it cost? 60 quid? A thousand pounds in 1980. Yeah, but you're not paying for the leather. You're paying for the uh, the lining. I mean, no one sees it, but uh, I sometimes throw it over the back of the chair on the train. Let people uh, let them see the money. I'm about to be massaged live mm -hmm. on air in what I believe is a radio first. You must have had a few free massages in your time. You used to work at Television Centre. What do you mean by that? I just, you know... <laughs> but seriously, what... what no, I'm just joking about, uh... Well, say it, say, say it. what? Operation Utree. So you meant it. All right, let's, let's use this as an opportunity to clear things up. I have... I have only... I, 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 the only thing I have ever done which could be seen by someone with a twisted perspective as an historic sex offence is the chase three members of pants people around television centre in my underpants uh, with them hooked over my shoulder for comic effect. As soon as I realised one of them was crying, I took that as a statement of cease and desist. I, I took the underpants off my shoulders, but I st stretched them so much they'd lost their elasticity, so I had to hold them like a wheelbarrow uh, whilst I looked for my trousers, which I'd lost in, in the... Melee? In the melee. Um... Uh, in the end, I had to hook them back over my shoulders to free up my hands. Uh, I still, still got the pants uh, in my garage. I'd use them as a rag to check the oil, you know. Can I have a glass of water, Yes, please? of course you can. Hey you! I can't hear you. This guy's an asshole. What's that? I know it won't smash, Lynn. Just wrap it in bubble wrap. When I get home tonight, I'm going to throw away my kettle. <laughs> and the paint's peeling up on my walls. <laughs> if you put fennel in there, we're going to fall out. Uh, no, we, 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 that will that will that will that will we will that, that will we will that will we will do that definitely. Yeah. Sometimes when you get you hit a funny scene, you like you, you yeah. hit a funny scene, and then you have to sometimes milk it until it's not funny anymore. Yeah.